if I could open up for any artist, it would probably be Drake. Because Drake, I've been listening to him for a while, like everybody do. And Drake's just like, it, he'll put people on. Like my favorite, probably one of my favorite artists is A-Boogie. He started when he opened up for Drake. So you feel me? That would just, that would be amazing if I could open up for Drake. Honestly, like... I probably got like two, three artists that really inspired me to make music. One, for sure, A Boogie. Like when he was coming up and I was listening to his shit when he was like really popping, when he had shit running. Um, I was listening to him a lot. And like Chef and Sleep, Chef and Sleep, I was fucking with them a lot right around the time I started making music. So I was listening to a lot of like beats that they had. And that's how I started getting into it. I've been making music since since I was 15, I'm 18 now. So like about like three years, I really started taking it serious though, like when I was like 16. So I've been doing it for a little, for a little minute. I think it's good to pay attention to, to um, you know, there's, there's always gonna be people that don't fuck with what you got going on, but like that means you're doing something right. So um, I acknowledge it, but I don't let it bother me. My main motivation for music, honestly, has got to be my mom and my sister. My sister always told me that, like, that I should really start taking music seriously. And I just want to put everybody that I love in, like, a better better situation. So that's, like, a big motivation I got when I, when I think of doing music. If it wasn't for music... Honestly, I don't even know. Cause since I was since I started doing this shit, I told myself that like I'm gonna make it somewhere doing this. But I don't know, I probably would have graduated school. I probably would have been trying to get to college. I ain't even finished high school, like the most fun part about making music to me is listening to the song when I'm done recording it and being like, damn, like I really did that. Like I don't know. I, I I love I love the recording process, but just like when you get out the studio and you listen to the song that you just made and what the engineer could do, you know, like is there's no better feeling than that. Like when I was 15, I started I started making music. That's when I wrote my first song, and I was just listening to beats, like just fucking around. I just started writing. I was with my friend Jack, and um. He was like, yo, that shit's kind of hard. So then I just kept kept writing, writing, writing. And I really took it serious when I was like 16. I moved to Orlando. And I met a lot of people that were good for the music. And I was like, this this got to happen for a reason. Like, you know? So started music when I was like, yeah, 15. Tyler John. It's my first and middle name, Tyler John. I'm originally from New Jersey, but right now I'm living in um, Orlando, Florida. I normally listen to a beat first, like a lot of people, they write, everybody got their own creative processes, but me, I'll find a beat first and then I'll just start writing to it or I'll find some shit that I wrote. I got a lot of things that I write that I don't finish and I'll hear a beat and I'll put something else on it. Like I mainly just listen to the beat first and then I'll write the whole song. I write all my, all my music though. I want to get out there. Like, I want to start performing in clubs, start getting my music videos popping, start getting promotion going on. And um, I'll see where that takes me. Right now, just the goal is to get a, um, you know, like, like my own crowd, like, you know. So that's the plan right now. I'm just trying to get out there, trying to get more people to know what's going on. <clears throat> Honestly, like, around the time of quarantine, I remember during quarantine, a lot of rappers and shit, like, like all the influencers, they were going on live a lot, on Instagram Live. And that's when I first started rapping. I ain't have too much confidence, but, like, I, I did feel like I could do it. So I started getting on live with a shit. Any celebrity, anybody that I could get on live with, I got on live with, I would rap for them. And I started getting a lot of people, random people messaging me, telling me, like, yo, like, you're good. Keep doing this. Keep doing this. And 
that really built my confidence a lot. It made me realize, like, yo, I should really do this because if these people are contacting me and they don't even know me, like, they just saw me on a live, but they, they hit me up telling me, like, yo, your, your music's good. Like, keep going. That gave me a lot of confidence and, like, made me more ambitious to, like, really follow through with music. Um... I feel like I always, I always love music. Like I, I can't do nothing without listening to music. To be honest, like a lot of people are like that. Like I just really appreciate all types of music. I've always listened to. I gotta like my ear. I could listen to a lot of different shit. Like not just rap. Like, so I've always had a love for music, but um, I don't know. Like just once I started rapping, and I, all my family was telling me like that I was real nice. Like, it felt good. It felt good to just keep making music. And, um, yeah. Top three favorite rappers right now. My top three favorite artists right now. Shit, that's hard. That's hard. Um, my top three favorite artists right now. One's got to be Tory Lanez, because Tory Lanez is a very versatile artist. Like, he could rap, he could sing, and he could do like he excels in both both lanes. So I really respect that about him. Um, G Herbo, I like G Herbo a lot. G Herbo, he be talking some real shit. I really, I really do fucks with G Herbo. And damn, man. honestly, free chef. Because if chef was free, I would probably say chef right now. But man, this shit is hard. Honestly, we talking about right now. I might give it to TJ right now. I fucks with little TJ too. And he doing his thing, so that's why I'm gonna stick out with that. Um, I gotta say when I first when I first started doing music, I really did want to sound like like no funny shit. I really did want to sound like a boogie, like. Not necessarily copy him or sound like him too much, but like I, I liked how he was melodizing and like it sounded real good to me. So, but as of right now, I'm starting to, you know, with all the years I've been doing it, like three years in, like I started to really rap a lot more and I'm really, I like Dave East a lot. I like Dave East a lot. So sometimes I feel like I be wanting to rap kind of like on some, on some shit, like how Dave East be rapping, make you feel what he says, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like a book, fabulous. I love fabulous. That's another rapper that I feel like his voice is just good. Like, so you feel me? Like, I want to give people the same feeling when they listen to my shit. Like, you know, so fab a boogie Davies. Like, I feel like I kind of, I kind of want to be a mix between all of them. Where do you say? Your music would root from from when you were younger, whether it's your father playing your music or your mother playing that music. Um, like my my taste in music. Yeah, kind of. What really caught your eye about rap or your style? Of well, my my parents are both my parents are both from Brooklyn, and they like they both have always listened to like. I, I listen to all the the old rap, you know, the old R and B shit, like. So I always I always just love. Like, rap is always going to be, hip-hop is always going to be, like, my number one genre because I grew up listening to shit like that. Um, so, yeah, that's 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 where I grew, like, you know, my taste my taste in music, yeah. Um, like, if I feel like I don't like something about, like, say say I'm in the studio and I record something that I, I really didn't like, um, I think it's going to happen, like, you're you're think about how how many songs artists record like there's always going to be one song that they not don't necessarily like but like you can keep certain things as references you know you can always go back to a certain song um and there's always a crowd for everything like i may not like something but other people like it you know so i mean i, I don't beat myself up over if i don't like something i just keep it as a reference go back to it whatever like you know Um, a recipe for the perfect song is gotta have a hook, it's gotta have a catchy hook. Um, it's gotta have, it's gotta have um, different flows. It can't all sound the same, you know. Um, it's gotta be like, 
like the studio that you're in you got to be comfortable recording that's a big thing about a lot of people they think you just you just recording you just rapping nah like you got to be in a good studio you have to be a, something that's good is if you tight with an engineer if you got a good relationship with your engineer psh, the sky's the limit you could do whatever the fuck you want because that's the guy who's really gonna make your shit sound good you know what i'm saying like you could rap you could sing you could do all that if you don't have a good engineer well, what's your music gonna sound like so that's a that's a big thing in recording a good song like it's it's got to be the recording process has to be good like good vibes how would you describe your current style of rap Oh, my current style of rap. My current style of rap. I feel like I'm trying to, I'm trying to make people feel what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to really like stick to. I can rap about, I can rap about bitches, money. Gun, I can rap about all that shit. But like, people want to hear some that's that's authentic. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to stick to me. I'm trying to make sure people understand me when they hear my music. And something that maybe other people can relate to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to stay as true to myself as I possibly could while during this whole music shit. And that's just where I'm at right now. Like, who knows? I get better and better. Maybe I start singing more. I start changing certain shit. But as of right now, I'm just trying to stay as true to myself as I could. A good record deal... Mm. I don't know what a good record deal is because, like, like a lot of money. Like a lo okay, but like, a lot of money. A lot man. of money could mean too that they they own all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know a lot of I've, I've heard of a lot of rappers that get fucked in record deals, like because they don't own none of their music. They gotta pay for their touring. They gotta pay for their studio sessions. Like, there's there's plus and minuses that come with it because you get a good you get a record deal, then they promote you. You don't have to worry about promotion. You get a budget for a video that's cool but when you're independent you everything every everything you make is yours you make that you know what i'm saying i definitely would love to make it independent i would love to stick independent but if i do get a record deal through at me and the numbers are right i might take that opportunity and then see what i could do with it you know maybe go independent buy out all my shit but until that time comes right now i'm just i'm just working just working 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 Um, honestly, I would tell them, like, nothing is impossible. As long as you put the work in, nothing is impossible. Anything can be attained. As long as you really are ambitious to it and you believe. You First step of it is believing in yourself. Fuck what anybody else thinks. You got to believe in yourself. You got to have the confidence within yourself. And you got to be confident when you do anything because people can see that shit. People can see when you're really about something and when you're not. All by the way you talk and how, you know, so... Um, that's what I would tell them. Just believe in themselves. Do you write all of your own music? Yeah, I write all my own shit. All of it. I'm trying to... Um, yeah, nah. I'm trying to... Eventually, I'm trying to get to the point where I could just go to the studio and not even have nothing written. I could just spit off the fucking... You feel me? That's why I'm, I'm practicing a lot of freestyling now and shit. But as of right now, I'm just writing everything. And... um. I do feel like I got a good pen game, so I, I'm I'm Gucci with writing on my shit. Like I, I would never pay nobody to write nothing for me, cause that's just not my lane. So my number one studio gotta be my boy Mixed by Smooth. Gotta be, gotta be to be honest. Gotta be locked in. You already know. Mixed by Smooth, get right. Get right or get left. <laughs> Before I leave too, I definitely want to shout out like all my all my real friends that's been with me like since I started doing the music shit and that's been keeping me kind of you know ambitious towards it. Like I don't think they understand how grateful I am for them because like there was times where I really doubted myself and then I think about all these people that believe in me that's close to me. I'm like nah like. I gotta do this shit for them so that I could make them feel like, yeah, you were right. Like, you know, you were right for believing in that I could really do this. So that's something I think about a lot. Um, I wanna shout out all my all my boys, all my family and shit. Like, I just wanna do it for them. Like, but yo. 
out the hoop, then started a four with the rental. Dreams I've been making, risks I've been taking. I give me the bag, I'm a fist of my dental. I rock the Louis Versace, the Gucci, and Prada.